The Garfield Weston Foundation is a family-founded grant-making trust. It was established in 1958 by the Weston family and it makes grants across a wide range of charitable causes in the UK. Canterbury Cathedral very kindly offered the foundation the opportunity to have a stained glass window installed in the cloisters uh, in recognition of the support that the foundation has given the cathedral over many years and the trustees were delighted to accept and they thought that it would be uh, fitting to launch a competition to uh, encourage uh, new stained glass artists to submit designs. The Foundation launched the competition in partnership with the Queen Elizabeth Scholarship Trust to encourage new stained glass artists to submit their designs so that we could find an eventual winner who would have their uh, design made by the uh, stained glass experts um, at Canterbury Cathedral. The stained glass studio here is a department of Canterbury Cathedral. We have nine people working here at the, at the stained glass studio. Canterbury Cathedral is famous worldwide for the incredible treasure of early medieval glass we have here. It's one of the best examples if you want to see 12th and 13th century stained glass. The stained glass that we're making for the Garfield Western window is very modern, very brave. It's really exciting and it's really good to have a piece of modern art that stands on its own feet. I'm very hopeful that this will be a fantastic addition to the, the treasure of arts we have in the cathedral. It felt really, really amazing to win the competition. It's um, such a privilege to have a design put in such a historic and well-loved building. A lot of architectural glass artists have to work for many, many years before they get a design in such a building, so to achieve that at such an early stage in my career was just really amazing. The design um, for the window was based on the image of a wheat field. Um, I wanted to find a theme that would encompass the history of the Garfield Weston Foundation, who had a, a chain of successful bakeries, and it would also reflect the um, historic purpose of the cloisters, which was a place for the monks to meet and eat and meditate. I became involved with this project because my own personal work and style of glasswork is quite similar to the mark making that was required for this window. Having this opportunity to be a part of making this for the cloisters uh, is a wonderful opportunity because it's the last time it was about 1950 when a new stained glass window was put in the cathedral. I guess my favourite part has been trying to translate Emma's design into glass and the challenges involved with that, with um, trying to get the marks on the glass and the different tonal qualities and the different oranges uh, and to get that free flow of almost like the wind blowing through a wheat field uh, has been it's been really enjoyable. I hope the visitors and the audience that will see it will appreciate how um, beautiful it is, just the colours and it's just a, a flow of colour and light and lines and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a really good contemporary design. Now the window's in situ and all finished, I think it's really, really beautiful. I think it really lives up to the idea I had in my head and I think it really captures the essence of my design. What I think is really wonderful is that the end product is still an, um, an authentic work of art. Quest is very, very pleased to be involved with a project that will outlive us all. I think everyone should come and see this wonderful stained glass window, um, particularly on a sunny day when it literally glows. The window is really beautiful and we're absolutely thrilled. Emma's design fits perfectly and the window looks like it was always meant to be there. <laughs>